What's up, everybody? Steven here for the Chef Movie Night to talk to you about physical media, about Blu-rays and 4Ks, and the way we like to buy and own our movies and TV shows. I'm going to do something on this episode that I really haven't done on the channel before, talking about physical media, so I hope you enjoy it. If you do, let me know. We might add this to the repertoire. Um, yeah, so let me know. If you haven't subscribed already and you're a movie collector or you want to be a movie collector or you're just a fan of physical media and you buy one here and there, there's still something here for you. Please give me a sub. Uh, most important, take a second, hit that like, hit that thumb up. That really helps get the word out about the channel and what I'm trying to do. And, you know, sort of just keeps me invested and involved in the, in the really cool um, collector community that's happening here on YouTube. If you really enjoy listening to me run my mouth, then definitely head on over to my TikTok channel. That's just OTS Movies. I'm posting there daily because I can just hit the button real quick while I'm walking around doing things. So you'll get a lot more small snippets of content and a lot of that builds and kind of rolls into the bigger projects that I'm doing here. Um, and then uh, Letterbox. If you're into my... Um, if you're into my Pushing 100 project, which is my project to see 100 films in theater in one year, Culture Smash over on Letterboxd. You know, go over there and I try to put at least, I at least give a star rating, but usually I try to type a couple of words about my experience with um, with the films. I should be at uh, 24 films by this point in the year, and I'm at 28, so I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. So anyway, let's get to what I'm trying to do today. Let's do this. Let me get some water. Okay, that's better. I already started to choke, and I really haven't even started the, the show yet. All right, so, you know, I was thinking about it the other day. There's so many naysayers out there. I see it on social media. Every time one of us posts about a cool pickup, there's always somebody that's like, you know, you could have just got that on digital. You know, and they start talking about how physical media is dying. And, you know, are unnecessary because, you know, you got iTunes or whatever. I just took a quick look and I did this for my own wallet preparation also at what's coming out for the month of April and what is coming out pre-order wise for the rest of the year or at least through the summer. And my wallet caught fire. As I record this, the Kino Lorber sale, which is a really good sale, by the way, if you haven't checked it out. They have their March Madness sale going through, uh, started in mid-March, it's going through April 19th, I think. They have some good stuff over there, and if you want me to highlight some of my favorite picks from Kino, let me know. I'll do that very soon, so you can hit those before the sale happens. Um, so yeah, that's happening, and I want to go over there and just buy everything, but then I look at all the pre-orders that are coming out, and then just all the cool stuff that's coming out for the month of April. I'm not going to go through everything that's coming out for this month because, spoiler alert, there's a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go week by week and just highlight a few things that I think you should pay attention to. So for the first week, for April 5th, which is tomorrow as I'm recording this, hopefully you see this at least this week, probably later tonight if I can get my stuff together, uh, the focus is going to be on Scream. Scream 5. You know, I hate that they didn't put the, you know, the... The number on it but it is coming out in blu-ray and in 4k and i think there's there's going to be some special edition steelbook action happening over at best buy that kind of thing and if you like that movie fine it's a it's a you know it's a must pick up if you like that movie i didn't care for it to be honest i didn't hate it but i also didn't love it it's just utterly forgettable to me so that's fine i'm going to recommend a couple of other lesser known titles that i think are a more worthy pickup First of all is Unearth Films is releasing 2LDK. I, for a variety of reasons, can't go into what this movie is about because I'm doing a screening, possibly. I haven't decided yet, but some people that are part of that screening might be watching, so I don't want to spoil the movie. I'm just going to say, um, if you like Asian horror, then it's worth a pick up. I'm just not going to, yeah, I can't do it. So there's that. And then also there's the the eight diagram pole fighters coming out from Arrow and their continued uh, martial arts line of films. It's just cheesy, uh, you know, kung fu action from the 70s. Very, very fun. That's my recommendations for that week. There's a new season of Handmaid's Tale. There's a lot of things coming out that week. But those are the things I think are really worth your time. Um, so we're going to move forward to, um, 
April the 12th. Now, again, April the 12th, there's a big title coming out. You've got um, the new Spider-Man films coming out in Blu-ray and 4K. It's coming out in a, you know, a limited edition steel book. There should be probably some other exclusives at Walmart, Target, and that kind of thing, I would imagine. It's fine. I'll get it eventually. It's not something that I have to have at retail. I, you know, it's fine. But there's some other things I think might be more worth your time. Uh, most notably, the RoboCop 4K Limited Edition. That comes out that week. My advice is to, if you want it, is to go and pre-order it now. It is an Arrow Limited Edition, hard box edition. It'll have the 4K in there, a limited edition book, a poster, and it'll be it's beautiful artwork. It's the exact same packaging and uh, contents as the previous limited edition Blu-ray that came out and went out of print. This one's going to go out of print too. It's going to sell through and you're just going to be able to get a regular old, um, you know, Amory case, maybe with a slipcover, maybe. But if you love this movie, this is, this is the buy of the week for me. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I hear the Chucky TV series is good. That one comes out. Uh, the season one comes out. Come on, come on is an A24 film that comes out also. Haven't seen it. I hear good things. Joaquin Phoenix was great. So that's another option. So April the 19th is probably one of the weaker weeks. Um, Cyrano is coming out. I haven't seen it. It's not my jam. That week there is one thing that I am interested in though, and that is this heavy metal special edition. If you don't know heavy metal, it is a, um, like it's literally that it's a heavy metal science fiction animated film from the eighties. Um, and it features Sammy Hagar and a lot of other, I think Judas Priest did some music for it. There's a lot of heavy metal music. It's over the top sci-fi. It's beautiful artwork that's coming out on a 4k that, that edition has heavy metal 2000, which was, you know, obviously the follow up, which is also pretty good in there too that one's not in 4k that's just it's really just kind of presented as a uh, uh, bonus feature uh, other cool stuff in the heat of the night we just recently lost Sidney Poitier in the heat of the night is a really good film from him might be my favorite film from him Kino Lorber is putting that out in a 4k and that's going to be a must buy for me uh, VHS 94 is coming out on blu-ray haven't seen it I don't have any commentary to give you on that one because I haven't liked much of the VHS quote franchise. Um, by the way, I forgot what day it comes out, but there is a movie called Dickless Zombies coming out in April. That that is ridiculous. Um, I don't know anything about that. If you do, feel free to comment uh, and let me know what that movie is about. All right, I'm scrolling. Uh, April 19th, it features a lot, a lot, a lot of catalog stuff. April 26th, okay, Moonfall's coming out. I saw this in theater. I did review it here on the channel. If you want to go back to my Pushing 100 updates, uh, let me just handle this for you. It's awful. It's bad. It is a bad movie. But if you are Roland Emmerich completist, it will be out in a steel book. It's coming out, obviously, in 4K. There's probably another special edition or two. The most notable release of that week, though, is going to be uh, the 4K Singing in the Rain. This is a Paramount release, I believe. It's not my jam, Singing in the Rain, but, uh, you know, if you're into that, it, it should be a beautiful release. Also coming out that week is, let me... I've got my screen up here. Let me get the camera up to so make sure I do this right. Is Arrow is reissuing 12 Monkeys. The packaging is pretty similar to this, except they're putting it out in a 4K. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the upgrade or not. I haven't decided. I, I probably will, but I don't feel it's something that I have to have at retail. I might wait. And, you know, we talked about um, the Kino Lober sale that's happening now. If you're kind of new to this, I'll recap some sale opportunities at the end of this episode that are coming up. So maybe it can help you with your buying decisions. There's a lot of things happening pre-order-wise this month, too, that you got to figure out how to, to spread out your dollars. Just announced, I think, yesterday from Screen Factory is something that I am so stoked for, and it is Toby Hooper's 1981 horror classic, The Fun House. If you haven't seen The Fun House, it's a must. It's very, very different than Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is his other, you know, super well-known film. The Fun House is an homage to so many different things, different films that he loves, starting with the original Halloween and then stepping backwards in time 
to homage other films. And the story's simple. It's a, a handful of young people that decide they want to spend a night in the carnival that they go to after it closes and they're going to hide out in the fun house. Well, sorry for them. The owners of said uh, carnival are killers. So things go awry. It's not about heavy gore and all that stuff. It's more about atmosphere and pace and that kind of thing. Uh, it's more beautiful than it deserves to be, to be honest with you. There's some wonderful cinematography in in this movie. Highly recommended. Scream Factory's got that pre-order going. So another pre-order that's happening right now is um, the Arrow Video 4K special edition of True Romance. Now, some of you, you know, hardcore collectors know that this was released last year already, but it was only in the UK market. Well, now it's being issued here in the United States, and I can tell you from experience, from pers- first-hand knowledge, it is wonderful. It is a beautiful set. They are offering all the same stuff they offered in the UK. They have this hard box set. They have a hard box set with a steel book inside, and then they have a standard edition of this in 4K. The 4K is wonderful. The bonus features are really, really good. Highly recommended. Now, as I said, I have this version. 4K is all region, so it is not really an issue for me, but I'm happy to have it. Also, I don't think I mentioned it, but coming out this month at some point, I don't remember the date, I would follow their website as Ronin Flix is reissuing this uh, special edition of I Spit on Your Grave. It's sold through. I think they're putting out s- some more of them. That's something that I would keep an eye out for. It's a very good edition if you like 70s grindhouse type of films. Um, so yeah, that that I'm just going to double check here real quick. Oh, out of sight. I love Steven Soderbergh. I think we may have talked about Steven Soderbergh a little bit. I love his his bigger budget stuff like Contagion and then his his indie stuff like Bubble and Unsane. Those are the things I love the most. But he has one big budget film that is just near perfect, and it is Out of Sight. Stars George Clooney and Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez, best film of her career to date still. Um, Stacey Keach is in it. It's a crime thriller. With a little bit of romance thrown in, it's beautifully shot and acted and directed. Everything is like spectacular. Kino Lorber is putting this out in a special edition 4K, Blu-ray also, but um, you know 4K is going to be the jam on this one. And the cover art is uh, stunning. It is stunning. So there's so many things happening for a, a format, uh, a way of enjoying and viewing films that's dying. We are being flooded with really great releases and pre-orders over the next couple of months. Just a heads up, as we're running through what's happening, if you're kind of newer to the collecting space, well, the things that you have to look forward to, we're finishing up the Kino Lorber sale that ends mid-April. I think we're going to get a break, and then we have a Criterion sale that's going to be happening in July. It happens at Barnes & Noble every year. Um, And then following that, maybe even during July it starts, they may cross streams a little bit which you know we know how that goes never cross the streams but arrow video has a spectacular sale called camp arrow it is their riff on the summer camp horror movie situation they had a sale already at uh, through mvd which may still be going i'm not sure but i pass on that sale because i didn't think it was as strong as the summer sale that arrow does so we've got all these sales happening all these great additions coming out this month and then the stacks of pre-orders coming What are we going to do? We're going to be broke. That's what we're going to do. What is it that you uh, are adding to your list? What are you buying? What are you pre-ordering? And how are you going to deal with all this goodness? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. Till next we meet, pull something cool off the shelf, share it with your friends and family, and remind them why physical media is the best way to watch films and TV at home. I'll see you guys on the next one.